Hey everybody, this is Jesse Linares with the Sam Via Art Team. Coming to talk to you about a situation that we've all faced behind the chair, a heavy perimeter that we just can't seem to do anything about. So we're gonna take a look at a couple different ways to point cut and slide cut our way through to texturize this into a sweeter result. We can point cut our way through the perimeter to alleviate too much weight at the bottom. There's just a couple things we have to be mindful about before we begin. You know, the grain of the hair versus the attack angle of the shear is gonna make a big difference in how chunky or subtle this becomes. So be mindful of, as we come in with the shear, that we are matching the grain to the hair. The more we deviate from that, the bolder of a statement we're going to get, a chunkier effect, if you will. And you can see that happening right there. As that hair was kind of buckling backwards, I attacked vertically, and we can see the lines that it created. You know, another tool that we can use to attack this idea with is one of our favorite blending shears, the Invisiblend. This is a great shear for uh, subtle effects in the hair because it doesn't take out a lot at once and the sharpened blade is actually not sharp, it's dull. And when these two pieces come together, it provides a little bit of stretch on the ends, kind of like a razor, but it also allows us to bury the scissor deep and we can slide it straight out because once it's closed, there's no exposed cutting surface on the inside. So point cutting, become something that is very fun and easy to do. And we're doing the exact same movement that we did before with our regular shear, but because a blending shear just doesn't take out as much hair at once, we get a much more subtle statement. When we point cut, we're truly affecting the outside of the hair or the bottom of that section. And sometimes if we don't wanna see the visual result here on the ends, we can work our way through the interior to take the bulk off in a way that no one will be able to see. Now slide cutting is working from the interior of the hair going out. And what that does for us is it allows us to sort of pick where we want that debulking to begin and we can slide in there and remove hair strategically wherever we want to. The consequence of this is that we are making little statements in the hair and you can see that that begins to open up the subsection a little bit. The more aggressive I become with it, you know, changing that angle of the shear to bite into the hair a little bit more definitely gives me a lot more pronouncement to the technique. Now we can clearly see those little gaps that were created so if you want to be subtle about it, just make sure that your scissor follows the grain of the hair as closely as possible. That way you can control just how much you're peeling off in there. Now, if that looked a little bit scary, then let's bounce back over to the Invisiblend for a moment, which can do the exact same thing. But as we already discussed, it's just not making that powerful of a statement. I can work my way in there and just pull out pieces that need to be debulked deep within the subsection if you want to. That way we alleviate the ends from that point down. Take a little more if you like. And always bear in mind, even though it's a blending shear, the entry angle of the shear relative to the grain of the hair still makes a difference. Even though this might be just a small percentage of hair coming off at once, think of it as a regular shear. It's the end result that we're looking for that dictates to us which tool we should use and when. You know, so if I'm okay with seeing the statements made by point cutting with my regular shear on the bottom of the perimeter, then certainly go for it and make the statements that you'd like to see. If you're just looking for a soft debulking that doesn't change the shape or behavior of the hair on the ends, think about your blending shear. Same thing is true with slide cutting. When we use a regular shear, we're going to make bolder statements because it removes all of the hair that it touches. Whereas the Invisiblend or any blending shear is going to allow us to pull off a percentage of the hair at a time, which gives us a little more freedom, a little bit more safety as we work our way through the subsection. Well, I hope you guys found this interesting and educational. This is Jesse Linares with the Sam Via Art Team.